What up, family? What we doing today? We gonna make some money. That's what we about to do. So this video is gonna be a bit in two parts. One is like this is gonna be like, look, I just was sitting here like I'm making about one point four seven percent a day. Have been for weeks. Some people for months. I'm almost put in this account about a week or so to week three, but before that, about over a month and other people months making 1.47 percent a day and if you know the rule of 72 you just do the math you know you're getting close to like 50 days of doubling your money and that's just if the, the price stayed exactly the same so this is 1.47 percent a day in interest and this is what's paying out it's paying out this account um, I'm going to show in there really quickly how to collect the money from that. And then the second part is going to be going back over a little bit into the price speculation, but going a little bit more into my thought process and showing you some exact ways. It's going to be a little bit crazy town. But so I don't know what you're getting in your farms and, you know, outside of crypto and crypto, but one point four seven. This is just because of the ones I've chosen. You know, you could probably go just with strict. Uh, jewel and miss and have um, a much higher one but I kind of spread out um, a little bit of into to, to you'll see now which one actually which one we want to do now this we were I was thinking earlier um, we want more AVAX so we've been buying AVAX today with all the accounts some sons of mine all right DeFi kingdom and we're going to come back to this screen in a second because this made me go and relook at some calculations the price of jewels falling a little bit so Let's hurry. Not that it matters at all. So if you just was here for the retire early and the percentage is no clearer than that. You're getting paid one one over one point three something, one point four, one point five percent a day on your money. Let alone the price going up and down. Now, because, you know, granted, you want to get in at, at, a low, uh, at the lower price you can, you know, no one's stupid, but this dollar cost average in and that won't be too much of an issue. All right. My son's had a bit of a failure at this part today as well, claiming their jewel. Both of them had a failure here, but I'm going to go ahead and assume that it went through, not assume anything, but give it credit for going through second time. So what I did is I claim my jewel. That's in my liquidity farm. So I get jewel built up every day. You see now is 2.18, which is about, you know, almost close to 30 bucks here to tell you. Uh, 2.5 here is uh, 31, $31. So I'm going to split this into half. The other half is going to be an AVEX. So I'm going to go Avalanche. So what did you Point oh nine. I should even do it. Let me just do one. Mm. Let's do one point oh five. Swap, confirm. I like to put a little bit into the bank as well. Stake a little bit into the bank every day as well. That's why I hesitated and took a little bit off so that I can add that. Come here to the Druid. Go to create liquidity pool. I'm going to do Jewel and AVAX. And then I put them in Jewel and AVAX. I maximize AVAX. So I should have a little bit less AVAX than I have of Jewel. Yep, that looks right. Scroll down, supply, confirm supply. Sometimes it's repetition. If somebody's learning to do this, they need to see it over and over again. I know it helped me when I first started learning how to do all of these, these things. So that's why I do it over and over show you here so now i've made do with my sons they're they're actually i had them now repeat back the steps and they were doing they never getting it i was very proud of them so i'm creating a i went to the trader just just go out there's no marketplace went to the trader and i traded jewel for avax then i went to still in the marketplace to the druid and i created a seed which is a liquidity token an lp token i've used that the other day i would just came it saying lp lp i need to make sure i say that um those acronym out loud a liquidity 
your liquidity provider, liquidity tokens. These are all uh, simultaneous terms. You, um, I created a liquidity seed with my jewel in AVEX, and now I'm going to go to the garden and plant my seed so that I can farm the liquidity in there. Auto, um, they auto invest it so that then they pay me out in jewel. I take that jewel and, you know, it's a cycle. So we go down here to AVEX. Deposit, max amount, deposit. And I saw some here that made me think of it. I'm going to do another video about uh, another fast way to get money to Harmony through. We gotta, I'm going to do, we're going to create a Terra Station wallet for the Luna Terra. And then you're going to send UST from your Coinbase directly to your Terra wallet, and then from Terra, you're gonna bridge it over to um, Harmony and DeFi Kingdoms. So that then you have UST, which is like a stable coin, it's like dollar bills, digital dollar bills. All right, so now that's deposited, and we are I'm gonna refresh this screen. The price is going down, you can see in Jewel. But you'll see here, we have more AVEX. Cool. All right, so this is, um, get ready to go down crazy land rabbit hole. We'll do it really quickly, though. So, what are you looking at? This is, this came from here, actually. That they had different numbers here. But the jewels in circulation, the jewels total supply, um, the market cap and the total market cap. So using that data, I took those numbers from them and put that here, the coins in circulation, um, uh, the price with the market cap, the total coin supply price and market cap. So that's here. And it was at 1454 when I was doing it earlier. So I was just using those numbers. So here's some bits of speculation. If we just 10 X from where we're at, we had a, um, right here, We'd be at a about a I didn't put it there, but I was typing at the other ones about a nine billion dollar market cap if we just 10 X from here. But that will put this at a. Our total supply at a forty five billion dollar market cap. Now, we don't need to circulate as the ones that we're touching. So let's just say if, if if we just 10x, no changes here. And I did the math. So the total coin supply and the circulating supply is about 20%. It's really like 19 and some change, but about 20% of the coins in circulation than the total coin supply, okay? So those are some important, this is where you see the percentages there. So I said, if everything stayed the same, we just 10x, we go up to 140 bucks would be about a $9 billion market cap, a little bit more than Axie. Now we're greater, we're, DeFi Kingdoms has more volume going in Axie now, so could it do that? Okay, wonder. Now let's go into these other charts here to have a little bit more um, kind of speculation in it, but let's go. So first off, let's go back to this chart here. Now, you remember the, the circulating coin supply according to DeFi Kingdoms itself is at 316 million. Right now, around January 1st, we're supposed to only be at around less than 300 uh, million. So it's saying that we're at this point almost close to, you know, close to July. So I took two sets of calculations, one where I extrapolated up from this point here, like here to a year away to say, OK, we could be close to 400,000 by next year or that the. Um, the chart is right, it will be at 375,000 by next year. So either here or here is where some of the, the differences in the numbers at. So let's get to that. If the chart is right, we had 375,000, and we're still doing only like 20%, then we should be at about 75, 375 million. We should be at 75 million coins in circulation. And so if we say they're $100 a piece, then that'd be 7.5 billion. You know, not crazy. That's where Axie is at today, right? 
if we go to my nut bag one from the other day and says five hundred dollars, and then I said, okay, but what if the chart's wrong and it's accelerating? It's four hundred thousand. That'd be about eighty. So the numbers are not too crazy. About five million off, but not too crazy, right? But if it was at five hundred dollars a coin, then we'd be at a forty billion dollar market cap. Could Jewel be at eighty million coins in the forty billion dollar market cap by next year? I mean, a lot of things we have to factor into that. A, a really a, a continued explosion in DeFi and really the seen as the first mover main mainstream adapted application in crypto from every you know everybody's trying to get into it and and, and be a part of it then yeah baby so that's a little bit moonshine but hey that's what we're here for and at that case would be a 200 billion um total market cap for the total coin supply now let's get into some other numbers what if as we're having them unlocked some different scenarios what if 40 percent unlocked 60 percent unlocked and i said what if 40 percent unlocked and i just used the 400 for that because it's just a, a round number so if the charts accelerate a little bit i use that number so 40 percent a lot would be 160 million coins and at a hundred dollar a piece we're talking about a 16 billion dollar market cap not too crazy so jewel at 100 bucks not too crazy 16 billion dollar market cap with more coins in circulation and 24 billion with 60 percent unlocked or in circulation um, compared to how many are total in supply. And then I just, you know, multiply times 500 to do 80 billion and 120 billion. So in other words, this is with more coins. These two over uh, these four charts here are with more coins in circulation. And then the price difference in prices increase between them. So something to think about, um, kind of give you some more really where that in with my thought process was coming from and how I kind of come up with some of this stuff and, and, you know, does it sound reasonable or not? So that's what's up. All right. With that, I love you. You love you. God loves us. And that's all that matters.